Hey guys, welcome back. What you see before you, while it's actually a very beautiful appearing picture, it looks like something an artist would have rendered of a city street, this is a LiDAR picture. Today we're going to talk about Luminar and its LiDAR product and how it, it is becoming relevant and how it may be useful as a uh, boost in the future to your portfolio. So LiDAR stands for Light Detection and Ranging. You have probably heard of radar before. The concept is similar, only into a, a space in front of it, and then waits for that laser beam light to reflect back to it. And by doing that, it can calculate what the distance away is of an object. If you're using multiple laser beams and bouncing off of multiple objects at the same time, then you can get a picture similar to what we see in front of us right now. This is from Luminar's Investor Day presentation. The company was founded in 2012 by Austin Russell when he was only 16 years old. He quit uh, Stanford shortly after that to devote uh, his full time to this project. He came up with his first proof of concept there around 2014. Around 2017 is when they really produced their first usable product. It was called the Iris. Uh, sort of a big box that could sit on top of a car. Shortly uh, thereafter, or around that time, they were acquiring partnerships with companies. You can see that they have Toyota Research uh, partnership in there. And then uh, in 2019, they introduced the Iris, which is a lot more attractive now, uh, for series production. In May of this year, they announced a partnership with Volvo. Volvo will be including their LiDAR system as an option for their 2022 vehicles. Recently, they also announced a partnership with uh, Daimler Truck, and Daimler uh, became an investor in their company. And then just the other day, they announced a deal with Mobileye uh, to include the, the Luminar LiDAR system in Mobileye's products. Now, Mobileye has uh, their products on approximately 50 million vehicles right now, so they know how to get uh, products into production and onto uh, vehicles. So that partnership, I think, is going to be very helpful for Luminar. Now, one of the things that makes Luminar's product special, uh, you can see here these items in green is what the Luminar uh, LiDAR, LiDAR is capable of. One of the things that makes it special is that resolution and range. They can see out to 250 meters out in front of a vehicle. So when a vehicle's traveling at highway speeds, that's only about seven seconds out in front. Doesn't seem like very long. But traditional LiDAR just doesn't have that type of uh, resolution and range. In fact, you can see here that the next best resolution uh, of a competitor is only about 45 meters. That's only about a second of reaction time at highway speed. So what is this product used for? We're looking at two things, ADAS which stands for Advanced Driver Assistance Systems, and then Autonomous Driving. So ADAS essentially is uh, the things that can uh, help keep you safe while you still remain in control of your vehicle. But uh, perhaps the gold mine of the future is autonomous driving where no human supervision would be required. Their system becomes the eyes of autonomous vehicles. Uh, right now we're looking at the level three to level four uh, version which allows the driver to be out of the loop on highways, uh, not there yet quite on uh, urban streets and suburban. What does their potential market look like? Well, this is an estimate for 2030. We're looking at about 60 billion for commercial trucking and about 120 billion for consumer vehicles. I mentioned earlier that uh, their product was a lot more beautiful than it was when it first came out in 2017. Nobody wants a big ugly box sitting on top of their car. You can see here for Volvo, they have what I think is a very attractive uh, design. Looks kind of similar to what the rear brake, brake light would uh, look like on some vehicles. Does their system actually work? Well, in 2019, AAA warned that pedestrian detection systems don't work when they're needed most. There was a study done of four sedans, including a popular electric vehicle, uh, tested at 20 miles per hour using the available detection systems, you can see that 89% of them r resulted in a collision with a child, 60% uh, with an adult, and 80% if there were uh, two adults on a roadside. Now, Luminar's uh, system 
you can see could decrease those uh, rates by up to seven times. How can this help a consumer's pocketbook? How does this affect a consumer's pocketbook? Luminar suggests that the insurance that a consumer will pay could be decreased uh, based on the increased safety of their vehicle and thereby subsidize the cost of adding this as an option to their vehicle. So in addition to creating uh, safety, uh, it also does it at a cheaper price potentially. Luminar has 50 current commercial partners and that makes about 75 percent of the target passenger vehicle and trucking and uh, robo taxi ecosystems. So you can see that other companies are adopting their technology. Right now this is being used for uh, vehicles but there is a good opportunity to expand this into aerospace and defense and mining and agriculture. How's the company's revenue? Uh, their estimate for this year will be 15 million. So you're looking at a little bit more than that in 2021. And then the revenue starts to increase. Of course, 2022 is when Volvo is going to include this on their vehicles. And then you can see their estimates out to just five years away where they're looking at potentially 837 million. That is a rapidly growing company. Now at the moment, as of November 23rd, 2020, you can't actually buy Luminar stock. They are going public with Gore's Metropolis. Uh, right now, Gore's ticker symbol is GMHI. They're going public likely in December of this year. On December 1st, the Gore's shareholders will have a vote on this merger. I expect that merger to pass. And shortly after that, the companies will merge. It will then emerge on the NASDAQ under the ticker symbol LAZR. Right now it's selling for just about $13 a share. And you can see that that's been on the rise since about November 16th. Of course, a lot of that is anticipation of this merger with Luminar. I see $13 a share as a very reasonable price to get in on the ground floor of a company that could potentially have a $180 billion market in 10 years. As always, look into this for yourself. I hope that this was informative for you. And if you liked it, give us a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe. And we'll probably see you again tomorrow with another uh, review of stocks that we think are exciting and worth your while.